All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Rat Rod Bob's School of Rat Rodology in a little shop where dreams come true. So I've done some work on the hood, uh, patina, if you want to call it patina. Anyway, yeah, stick around. We're going to do it all. I mean, I, I mean, in real time, Every how long it took me to do it, that's how long it's going to take you to watch it. So, but hey, if you get bored, Stick around to the after because I got more to say and we're going to look at it up close. Oh yeah, I got a microphone. Can you tell? Yeah, a little video. I mean, this is a microphone and a transmitter all in one. Uh, you know, you don't need no wire to go down there to hang off and a transmitter to hang off your fanny. So yeah, there's that. And the receiver's on the camera, just plugs right into the camera. Don't even need a battery for that. This takes a little old AAA battery. Uh, yeah, I'll show you a picture of what brand it is. Yeah, that's what it is right there. Sony, ECM, W1M. That's it. Yeah, talk about dreams come true. I mean, hey, my motto is if you can visualize it and if you want to do it bad enough, you can do it. You'll figure out a way to make it happen. So yeah, I mean, you're gonna build a rat rod, get online, look at pictures, videos, whatever, figure out what you want to build and uh, start gathering tools and parts. If you don't already have them, uh, go to swap meets or whatever. Don't say I don't have the money to do it, because if you say that, you never will get it done. I mean, you'll figure out a way. If you want to do it, just get started. That's the number one hardest thing to do is get started. Once you get started, you'll figure out a way to make it happen, believe me.
Yeah, it's dark 30 here. Yeah, no heat wave at night. Yeah, this, uh, this paint effect, I'm not sure what we're gonna call that. I mean, is, we can call it patina. We can call it antiquing. Uh, we can call it anything we want. Basically, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, dirty, down and dirty. Whatever you wanna call it. Hey, who cares the rat rod? But hey, look, a couple of videos ago, I asked you guys to step up and help me out. I'm, on a quest for 50,000 subscribers. Well, I'm still a long ways away, but man, you guys stepped up. Yeah, you stepped up big time. I got a lot of subscribers, so I really appreciate that. So I got the best subscribers on YouTube, and if you want to be one, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down there, and the thumbs up. But anyway, this fake patina <laughs> ain't for everybody, but uh, a lot of people like it. I like it. I'm sure most of you like it. I mean, I think it looks killer. It's dark, 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 dark cherry. Wild dark cherry. So yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is, is the chassis. I mean, will you say, you, yeah, see the chassis is bright silver. And after I get the body on, I'm gonna have to look at it. It may be too bright. I might have to take, uh, same as I've done this, I might have to rub a little bit of black over that bright silver to kind of bring it down, tone it down. I don't know yet, we're gonna see. But if I have to, it ain't no problem. I know how to fix it. I mean, yeah. Been there, done that, we can fix it. Well, you, you guys seen what I've done to the cab? I rubbed a little bit of silver over these stitches. Well, I hadn't done that to none of the rest of the parts yet. But it's gonna get that, but after I get the truck put together, get all the body parts in it, I'm gonna come in and rub silver over places that needs it or dull down the silver where it needs dulling down or brighten up the red where it needs brightening up and all that. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a tweak it when I get it all put together, put it to you that way. So, but, uh, but yeah, it's been like a heat wave here for the last week. Before that, it was raining every day. Uh, now it's a heat wave every day, and it's supposed to last probably another, I don't know, till the weekend, next week. I don't know how long it's gonna last. But anyway, I'm out here at nighttime doing this. So it's, it's, it's still 80 degrees. You see it's dark 30 here, it's still 80 degrees, and like 80%, 70, 75% humidity. So yeah, uh, still not a good situation. But uh, if I turn the fan on, it ain't, it ain't that bad at nighttime in front of the fan. I mean, I'm still sweating, but I mean, it's not pouring off of me. I, I don't have to stop every minute and wipe the sweat out of my eyes. I mean, I can work for five minutes now without wiping the sweat. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, the main goal of this video is, is to test this microphone. I mean, I don't, we've done the hood, so we're gonna, we, we done the hood, we looked at the hood and all that good stuff. We checked the microphone out. I mean, does it sound okay to you guys? I mean, you guys, hey, it's been what? Two, three, four years I've been doing videos and I ain't never had a microphone. So yeah, Rat Rod Bob deserves a microphone and you guys deserve it too. You deserve a better audio than what you've been getting. Cause uh, I mean, you guys have been watching my videos. You know, in the shop has got a lot of echo in this shop without the microphone. And I don't know about with it now. I mean, I, I had, I, matter of fact, I had, I don't even know what the microphone sound like until I get this video, get this camera inside and get editing this video and then I know what it sound like. I don't even know if it got, the shop had echo before the mic. I don't know if it got echo now or not with the, with the mic, but uh, I'm gonna find out. We're gonna find out how it sounds, so. But yeah, I appreciate all you guys' support to help me get all this stuff. So yeah, I wasn't, matter of fact, what you, I wouldn't even be doing these videos. I mean, you guys inspire me. Yeah, yeah, go Bob, go, go, go. So you guys inspire me to do, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. So blame it on yourself. <laughs> no guys, I love every minute of it. And uh, after some highly classified 
scientific rat rod calculations? Who cares it's rat rod? Simple as that. Now keep in mind when you're looking at a picture, a video of this hood, uh, one side is still a little damp from the thinner. It looks, one side looks a little different anyway because one side is pitted real bad, the other side is not pitted as bad. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna to come back after the fact and tweak that hood to get it. So yeah, no problem. Not a hill for a stepper, and I'm a high stepper. I uh, hadn't had a chance to work on red yet. I mean, like I said, it's been hot out here. I, I mean, in the uh, heat wave, I don't want to come out here in the heat and try to fix red. I could bring him up in the house, but I don't know. He's, I ain't gonna do that. He's, I had to give him a bath before I brought him in the house. <laughs> He's pretty dirty out here. Maybe I can get a pressure washer, steam cleaner on him. Uh, yeah. I still got a lot of work to do as far as uh, antiquing this cab and rubbing silver over and all that stuff. I still got, I hadn't done anything to the inside. I still got the back side and that other door on that side to do. So I still got a lot of work to do to the cab alone. So I'm kind of waiting for a cooler day. Maybe next week it'll cool off a little bit. Uh, I can come out here and work for a couple of hours without getting a heat stroke. So, <laughs> yeah, so, hey, you guys bear with me. So, guys, I hope I didn't bore you doing the uh, uh, fake <laughs> fake patina on the hood. I mean, it was, I know it's a long video, and, but that's how long it took me to do it, so you guys know. I mean, every stroke of the paint gun, every stroke of the rag, sprayer, spray guns, sprayer, Thinner, spreading the thinner on. I mean, you guys seen it all, so you know how to do it. I mean, you guys know them when you do something often or the more of it you do, the better you get at it and you figure out better ways to do it and all that stuff. When you see me on this cab, I sprayed a little bit of black and then sprayed some thinner on the rag. And uh, then I figured out that it took, long, took too long. So I started spraying more paint and just spraying it thinner on the cab and rubbing it, and that was faster. And, uh, but I didn't have enough thinner in the paint doing that. I mean, I thought I needed thicker paint, but I didn't. So now I got it where I can put, I put a lot of thinner in the paint and spray it like I done on the hood, spray it all, and then spray the thinner on it and then wipe it off with that rag. That's the way I've done this hood. So yeah, just, just all you might want to know. I'm, I'm, it, the process is, getting better and better all the time, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think the tailgate come out good. Of course, I still need to rub silver over it in spots. You know, fine tuning when we get it put together. But yeah, the tailgate's done too. Hey guys, stay tuned, cause uh, you don't want to miss the next video. I mean, you just don't. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up button, and we getting it, but we just ain't got it yet. Appreciate you, see you next time.